Hi, I'm Konstantinos, and today I would like to show you a very useful standard SAP process integration and process orchestration API for integration directory objects maintenance. This API allows you to maintain a big number of integration directory objects very fast in just few steps. Let me start with an actual example that I faced during of my previous projects. It was a SAP PI dual stack to SAP PO single stack migration project, and we faced an issue during our go live phase uh, in order to stop the channels in our old system and start the channels in the new PO single stack system. Now, imagine that you have around 200 of integration scenarios. That means that you have around of 100 communication channels, and you need to stop all the channels and start them at a specific time. In order to achieve this task, there are a couple of ways. You can go to PI monitoring and stop or start the needed uh, communication channels, or another way is to go to integration directory and change the adapter status to inactive or active. Uh, in order to change in each channel, the adapter status, it will take you a lot of time. So, for example, for the 50 channels that I told you, it will take you at least a couple of hours. Remember that it's very important that during the go live phase, all the communication channels are stopped before we want it. So, no unwanted messages will be sent or will be pulled uh, by the channels. Now, let me show you how to do it in a better way not manually, through integration directory and maintaining each object one by one, uh, losing a lot of time, but in a smart way using the standard API. Okay, so let's move to our test scenario. First of all, you need to enter the subnet Weaver application server Java, and we will go to web service navigator. Uh, we search for a provider system service and uh, we need to maintain channels. So we type channel in the search bar and we choose the service communication channel. Uh, now, in order to read firstly all the uh, communication channels that we want to maintain, uh, we are going to use, and we all always need to use, firstly, the operation query. Uh, for testing purposes, I will search for some communication channels that, has, that have in their component ID uh, the characters IFTT. Uh, you can also uh, read all the communication channels of your SAP system if you want, and you can activate and deactivate all the channels at once. Keep in mind that you can maintain even all the communication channels at once using this API. So uh, let's click next and let's query only uh, the specified channels. Okay, and as we can see, the person query returned uh, a number of communication channels in just uh, zero seconds. So uh, now we have to download this XML mm, and we will use this same XML on a different operation. So we go back and back and we choose the operation uh, read. At this step, you need to import the test file XML that you downloaded previously. So you choose a file, you pick the right one, Click OK, and you can see that we have 37 communication channels that we are going to maintain. Uh, we choose Next, and now this operation returned for us all the informations in, of the communication channels in a single XML. So let me open this XML. And you can see it's a single XML with more than 8,000 uh, lines. And in this XML, uh, simply by replacing values 
we can replace all the active values with inactive values. Uh, this way, we will change the adapter status in communication channel of the configuration in the integration directory. Uh, so why just replace all? As you can see, we have 22 occurrences that were replaced. Uh, that also means that not in all of the communication channels you can uh, maintain the uh, adapter status. Uh, for example, you cannot uh, maintain it in uh, proxy channels. Just keep it in mind. So now I'm going to save this file. Now we are going to use our saved file uh, in our next operation. It will be the operation change. We click next, we import our edited XML. Uh, before clicking next, let me tell you what will happen. The operation change will create a change list in our integration directory uh, with the needed changes. So let's click next. And as you can see, in just two seconds, uh, the operation change uh, was processed successfully. So now we can go to integration directory and check what happened. So let's go to the change list. Let's refresh it. And do we see that a new change list is created with the list of all the communication channels that was updated? The last step of course, is to activate our change list. So let's click activate. We activate it and you're done. As you can see, it is only a matter of few steps in order to maintain the integration directory communication channels. Of course, this is only one use case of this API. Let me provide you with some other examples of use cases that I had during my experience. Personally, I used a couple of times this API in order to export the integration directory objects and import them from one process orchestration system to another process orchestration system. Another use case scenario would be a massive change in communication channel details. For example, a new URL that we need to update or some other parameters in communication channel. Last use case that is very beneficial using this SAP API is during an SAP PI to PO migration project, and there is a need of renaming of business system names. It means that we may have a couple or a dozen of business systems that they need to be renamed, and what comes after that is that we have 10 or 100 of communication channels that need to be created from scratch. And using this API, you can achieve this in just a few steps. You can read more about it in my blog that represents a step-by-step -step solution for this scenario. If you have any further questions, hit me up on LinkedIn. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the rest of IND4 videos.